Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kat, just me today. <laughs> And today is a very exciting video because I'm back in my favorite place on Earth, Hawaii Island. We are at the ocean course at Hokuala. We're super, super excited to be playing here today because I've heard wonderful things about it and being on the course is so beautiful, the weather is nice, the greens are rolling fast. So yeah, super excited to be here and Thanks to Ocean Course Hokuala for hosting us today. They are so accommodating and hospitable. Today, we are going to be playing some of the pretty holes on the course. Holes 14 through 18 from the blues. And there are many, many different pretty holes, but these holes are just more ocean view on the back nine. And then the front nines are going to be more like forest, jungly. Jurassic Park like so yeah stay tuned we're on hole 14 168 yards from the whites I'm taking my eight iron the wind is blowing a little bit but it is a beautiful view so we're gonna enjoy it the pin is tucked on the left That me? I think I made it. Mm. These are like the the flowers Hawaiian that they, flowers. yeah Hawaiian flowers. I'm pretty close. I did not think I made that, but that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> All right, I hit a pretty good shot. Drew it in here. I think it's gonna break towards the ocean and the grain's going that way too. So we're gonna aim left center. Okay, we are on hole 15. It's 404 from the blues. We're gonna hit driver over that right bunker. Oh, I hit a little right, but... I think that's okay. We'll see when we get down there. This hole's tricky. I have 114 yards. I'm taking my 50 degree wedge. I'm gonna hit it hard. Uh, the wind is blowing, it's downhill, so it should get there. foot putt downhill and I'm gonna try to two putt it but if I make it then that's cherry on it oh that broke a lot it broke really broke towards the ocean I got a bogey, but beautiful hole. 
We're done. So we're currently on the back nine and you have a lot of beautiful ocean views, jungle views, pretty diverse golf course. The greens are running really quickly right now um, and really true. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah. I played, this is my third round, so I feel like this is my home course on Kauai now. Okay, we're on hole 16. This is a short par four, but very tricky. You can either go for it, but you'll risk losing it in the hazard, or you can lay up. So I played here a couple times before and I've lost my ball all three times. So I'm gonna do and make the smart decision and lay up and use my seven iron. Um, so this hole is only like 290. So I'm gonna lay up and give myself a wedge in. Ooh. I hope that's okay. I pulled it a little bit, but hopefully it's okay and in place. I hope I can find my ball or this whole plan would have just backfired. That's like six feet away. Okay, this is for birdie. I have like a 10 footer uphill right to left. If I make this putt, I will be proud of myself because I redeemed myself from that horrendous pull. Okay, breaking towards the ocean. I know the rain coming right to left. Go! I'm pretty happy with the car. It's not bad. Okay. If we turn around, we can see the coast. are really nice water holes but difficult but beautiful so let's go okay hole 17 on the ocean course 165 yards the wind is what do you call it it's coming back towards us so I'm hitting my seven a hard seven iron this hole is a little tricky because there's bunker in the front and behind the pin there's a drop off for the, for the water and then left back is also bunker so you just gotta get on the green simple as that I'm just gonna go straight up and just hit and pray oh go oh the wind's gonna keep it and it's probably gonna go in the bunker it went in the bunker 
That went too high. I mean, these are, I would say, the toughest holes on the course, but it's not bad. Let's pick a birdie on the next hole. I think it's the toughest hole on the course, in my opinion. I don't think it is, but I feel like it is. So we're gonna hit a driver right of that bunker towards that greenish bush and have an approach shot in. That's the plan. The wind is coming back towards us. I would almost say like 190 to be safe because going over isn't the worst thing in the world. Oh, I don't know. I, I'd say five. I don't want to walk because I just pull it into the water. I have a short little chip here. Um, about 40 yards. It's breaking right, left to right. Downhill once it hits the green. See what magic we can do here. It's not horrible, and hopefully we can make this for both. Look. It's not 
moving too much. I mean, I think it's gonna be a right edge play because the grain's going this way and it's slipping this way, so we're gonna aim. Saved it for bogey. Thank God. <laughs> it was um, definitely a tough hole, tough course, but so beautiful. If you guys are ever in Kauai and you're flying into Lihui, I think I'm saying that right, you have to check out the ocean course at Hokoala. It is so beautiful, so peaceful, very challenging, but definitely worth it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. We'll see you next time. Bye! Whenever we do um, what we call our ceremonial greeting, because when we greet the sun, it's always ceremonial. It's like, like I mentioned earlier, it's like bringing in a new day. Yeah. Right? With all things good. And we only want to think about what we want to possess for the day for us. Yeah. Right? And how I mentioned about aloha the alo, the, the divine essence and presence of ha, the breath of life that we're sharing. We want to share that goodness, that harmony, that peace, that blessing with everyone. And then everyone we want to give the blessing to comes back to us. So it has no choice but to come back to us the way we send it out, right? And when we send it out, we get, we get so infectious that it starts spreading and spreading and spreading. So the divine essence of the breath of life that we are sharing with you, you will be sharing with others and mm -hmm. others and others. And it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And what a beautiful world it would be if we all could wake up like that, yeah? Wake yeah. up with that beautiful essence to just share, that harmony, that peace and love, so that there's no choice but to come back to us. <laughs> and everywhere we go, was to hear the birds sing, yeah. you know, and the dogs bark, but they're barking saying, good morning, <laughs> yeah. you know, the chickens, you know, like the good morning, trees. the trees, when the birds sing in the morning, what the birds are doing is they're waking up the trees, so that the trees, <laughs> when they go into the, the vein of the trees, it lets off the oxygen for all of us to breathe, yep. there's a certain frequency that the birds have. Mm. And so we hear trees and hear the birds we're like, oh, the birds are waking up the oxygen so I can breathe. <laughs> and that's pretty much our hui aloha. So with the words, on the English side it says, awake, arise, the sun from the east, from the ocean. Because from here, right, it looks flat and it comes from the ocean. Deep ocean, which is a hohodo, and it climbs to the heaven, the highest of the heavens in the east there is a sun arise and then the hawaiian part that was eala e kala ikahikida ikamoana kamoana ho honu pi ikaleva kaleva nuu ikahikida ayakala eala e and so like i showed you we're gonna do the upohu upohu and the pai Upohu, upohu, and pa'i. Yeah, so it's... And typically when we do the green of the sun, we want to do it as just about ready to peak to get that, that, just that lush glow once it pops up. And, uh, let me know what to do that is. You guys want to go in there? Okay. Yeah. So repeat after me. Okay. Oh. Eala e. Eala e. Kala i kahikida. Kala i kahikina. I kamoana. I kamoana. Kamoana ho honu. Kamoana ho honu. Pi i kaleva. Pi i kaleva. Kaleva nuu. Kaleva nuu. I kahikida. I kahikina. Ayakala. Ayakala. Eala e. Eala e. So when the sun sticks over, we start to do the oli. We're gonna do it three times, and then the very last one, we're gonna go eala 
finish. Yeah, we'll do a la oh, nice yeah. loud finish. as it moves. So within a hundred years, this will move at least 25 yards. Oh. Yeah, 25 yards. You can't see it, just like we can't feel the Earth moving. You can't see it, <laughs> it's so but beautiful. it happens. It Isn't looks it? so different. Yeah. And what you can do, a lot of the kids do is they tie it like this, mm -hmm. and then they hop on it and they swing And they from swing? It. Yeah. And it doesn't break? No, it doesn't break. Oh, because it's Those the roots. It's, it's roots. Good. Yeah, it's strong oh. roots. What is it called again? The Walking Banyan. Walking Banyan. Yeah, Walking Banyan. And then this is our farm. We have anywhere from fruits and vegetables, some oranges. Um, this one here is our ice cream bean, coconut, kara kara, uh, lime, lemon, mango, guava. Um, you get most of the chicken from here? Not over here, unfortunately. So, so Just the eggs. <laughs> Just egg, but a lot of the chickens aren't from, aren't from here, which is kind of interesting because there's chickens all over the place. Here is a, I call it the grove of coconuts, or coconut grove. All of our owners that buy here at Timbers, when they come, we do a planting ceremony, a tree planting ceremony. And when they come in, they plant their tree, it's, they, they become the responsible kuleana to take care of their tree. And so if you notice, a lot of these trees are like huge already, so these are the ones that had moved in and bought here since 2018 when we first opened and further on the other uh, other side is like little tiny ones of all of our other owners are coming but this is amazing because it helps us sustain ourselves so the coconut from these trees we'll use either at the uh, restaurant or for the families you know because it's our natural electrolytes right we call this the tree of life because every part of the tree can be used from the coconut to the fronds, to the husk, because the husk you make rope out of, mm. the fronds you make baskets, you make mats, you make sails, and then when it grows bigger, you can use a stump. There's some coconut, oh, natural this electrolyte. Is a, this is a co coconut tree. Yeah. It's a baby. Yep, all baby. Right, and then the cups, you know, the inside of where the, where the coconut water is, <coughs> you, you can use name, it for cups. Yeah, name, These are the Samoan coconuts because they don't grow that high. The great thing about Samoan coconuts is that you can go right there and grab the coconut because it's so low, easy to grab. And here's another of our walking bed. And we got tea leaves, we have papaya, we have bananas, we have breadfruit which is ulu. It's really, really, really good. And we have, um, oh, here's one of our chickens. Oh my gosh. Hello, friends. Hello. They look different <laughs> then. <Yeah. laughs> it's called the show. And we have kalo right over here, which is our natural uh, uh, plant that we use to make it's like a staple for the Hawaiian that you don't have to have a seed. You just cut the stem and then replant it. And then it grows. Mm -hmm. And it regrows. If I can find a, um, a pole, I could grab some of the papaya so you guys can get a taste it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I'm always looking for like an ice cream. Oh, you mean these? Up here. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. 
Which one is the ripe one? Is it the oh, orange? orange yeah. Oh. And Matthias is here, so Matthias could probably share with us a few things about this. I'm trying to look to see if we can find a uh, ice cream bee ready to eat. And I can share the bean with you. And then this is our organic vegetable garden. Mm. So a lot of these uh, vegetables here, like kale, we got rosemary, we got... Um, oh, there he is! Hi, Matias! Aloha! Hey, good morning! Doing our sunrise tour. Alright, there you go. Yeah. This is our farmer, and this is Matias. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Okay, but this is our farmer that uh, takes care of this whole place. This is Matias. Beautiful. Thank He's you, thank you. Guy. Yeah, it's uh, 15.6 acres, this whole farm. It used to be two part fours. Oh, really? Yeah, back in, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> yeah. You know, I remember that really good. The leaves just hit the ball so well. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's a, it's a good little, the orchard has about 29 different varieties of trees. All the ripe ones are gone already. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta find another, we gotta find a ripe mango I can pull down for you. Let's look. Come on, Chachi. Come on, Chachi. Is that plums? Um, no, it's all bagel still. Oh, these oh, are all bagel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, those are ripe. Yeah, it's been eaten by the bird. <laughs> yeah, all eaten by the birds. And all the mangoes are from several different variety of mangoes as well. And they're all fantastic. We also have um, avocados too. I don't think this one is. Avocados. <laughs> no, it's still green. That one, oh, that was a nice one up there. But let's see. This one here looks like that one is ready. Oh, it's too high. You want me to get it? I could probably reach it. Yeah, you could probably reach it. How does it it's feel? It's hard. Okay, you can let go. <laughs> yeah, if it's hard, then it's not ready. Huh. It's supposed to be soft. Not really, because uh, there's a certain variety one. that. Oh, what's that? So, this is called ice cream bean. Oh. Is it oh. It's one of my absolute yes, favorites, sir. yeah. Whoa. You get to eat them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's this seed inside. So, yeah, you just gotta pull one. It? Yeah. Toss the seed. I would, say, I would say try that one right there. That one's money. This one? Yeah. I'm gonna find a right mango. We're gonna stop at the holly and grab the actual papaya. Mm -hmm. Crazy, huh? Mm. Ice cream bean. Do you eat the green or the white? The white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. These mangoes are super close, yeah? Fruit. They're uh, sour stuff. Mmm. Sour what? I've seen them on TikTok. Yeah. What do you call sour sup? I've seen people eating them on TikTok. Yeah. And in Hawaii. Oh, it's hard. It's spiky. This is called sour sup. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's called sour sup. I'm still eating the vanilla bean, not the vanilla, ice cream bean. Okay, let's go. Different places they sell, like the noni drink, the noni powder, um, the noni paste, because the paste also you can use it on your skin. But that's noni. But do, do people really eat them? They do. Yeah. I don't, I don't eat them, but I definitely drink the juice. Oh, you drink yeah, the, I get juice. the juice? Uh, but the, what does it taste like? It tastes terrible. But it's like, it tastes just as bad as it Yeah, tastes. it tastes <laughs> bad, but it's, it's, uh, it's just one of like the best things you can you what is it called again? Noni. 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 Yeah. Noni berry. Right? It's a berry. Is that, uh, I mean, is that only in Hawaii or is it? 
Um, I think I think they're all over, but they grow really well here. I never. It's one like you know, it's it's like a super fruit. Yeah. A papaya. Oh yeah. Thank you. Can you hear the? Uh, <coughs> what is that? Yeah. What is this? So right next to us is the. Um, oh, the airport, right? Yeah. The run the runway. Oh, that's what it is. These flowers are called crown flowers. But our last wedding monarch, Queen Lily Okalani, that was her favorite, favorite flower. It has no smell, but when you when you sow it, it comes into this beautiful, beautiful way. Mm. And all over here is our hibiscus, more papayas, and our donies, and our coconut trees. And then more of our walking kala. All these different plants with them so that when they got to where they got, mm -hmm. they could use that to sustain them. And the most important thing that they did bring was the coconuts, mm -hmm. right? Because you can pretty much eat everything yeah. with that. So like the meat is really, really good. Yeah, I always eat the meat. You can eat it hard, you can eat it soft, the water, the milk, the yeah. the milk. And then if we find, if we happen to find, a um, a small little coconut. Yeah. Um, that I don't think it's gonna grow anywhere. I'll go ahead and pull out the heart of palm. Oh. You tried that heart of palm? I've never tried it, but I've seen people eat it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For the heart of palm. The tree sheds its skin, and when it rains, the colors come up white. Isn't that wild? That's really cool. Hey, it's so funny. It's very ugly. Yeah, it will go like this and this. Uh, just this way. It's not pretty like this, you know. We're looking at the cruise is coming in. I think they're gonna dock right at the harbor. But yeah, it's been a really good morning. It's our last day on the island. So sad. But we just saw the sunrise. Um, yeah, we took a little tour of the farm. And yeah, so grateful to be in Kauai and get to experience all these lovely things. This is beautiful. We're at the Timbers property look, overlooking the golf course and the ocean. And Timbers owns Hokuala. Ha ha ha.